Of course, Mimus being Mimus, it's not going to take a lot of effort to make escape velocity. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, 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 okay. Right, okay. But I was like, what's this? This isn't good. Does this mean I'm like heading towards a mountain? Guess not. Uh, okay, hold yourself there. What side of the planet am I on right now? Uh, I'm coming up to the far side, so there's a good chance I can do all this in one burn. Alright, uh, 3,000 meters, and that's when my escape is. I wonder. Uh, Jeb. I want you to keep with this rocket now. <laughs> Say goodbye to Mimus. See Kirbin coming up over the distance. Hope one, looking extremely. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for I hear Heroic, gallant. Who knows? All right, okay, we're above 3,000 meters. Let's get this show on the road. How am I going to manage this now? I think I'll go for a similar re-entry as what I did last time. Try and keep the G's in in check. Well, at least keep them out of the red. With this pod, it's kind of physically impossible, though, because when the parachute opens up, the G's just flick straight up. There is nothing you can do to avoid that. Or so, or so I found, anyway. All right. I want you to be more on this 270 line. I don't understand why you're over there. Go. Build up your orbit, level ourselves out. Trick is, am I going to have enough fuel? I'll work this out as and when. Uh, 10 million, 5 million, 1 million. Oh shit, I didn't want to quite do that. How much fuel are we sporting? Over half a tank. Right, give me, give me seventy thousand. Yeah, eighty thousand. That'll do. And then I'll try and minimise one's periapsis from this. Well, what well, apoapsis should I say? If my fuel looks grim, then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back out, come back, and land normally. Ideally I want to be getting on the side of KSC so alright we're gonna retro here effectively. Uh, I need it to be more level as well so uh, is it this side that I want? Was that a shot of the moon then? I guess it was. Alright, five million. Now we're doing for fuel. We're doing pretty damn good. Uh, three million. Still pretty good on the fuel. I wish this fucker would stop moving around. Two million. Can you get me down to a about a thousand? Uh, not a thousand, uh. Jesus, what is it I'm now? About a hundred? Same, same as this side, I mean, I've just reached, gone past the periapsis. And a hundred, I would say, is kind of perfect for what I'm looking for. We are definitely, definitely building the speed down now. And we've still got a quarter of a tank left. So, effective? Yes. Hope one, you are my hope of a normal landing. Okay, so uh, can you keep going down 200? Oh god, that's going down. I don't want that. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the APO, expand it out, and then I'm going to get to the e equatorial line, and then I'm going to try and do this level. So, uh, okay, thanks. Go prograde. Right, that's the 90s effectively prograde. I keep slapping on my uh, 
my sass thinking it's going to do something, but no, it's not going to. Can you... Right, okay, so... 145, 147, that's even more uh, level than when we started out at, so... Alright, I'm going to measure up the moon's line, and I'm going to use that to gauge when I want to start doing my normal anti-normal burns, which I think is about here. Yeah! Alright, am I in a line to hit KSC? Oh, so many calculations, man! What do I do? So, if that's retro 225, so is this anti-normal then? I imagine it will be. Um, I don't think it is. I'm not noticing like a big difference here. Alright. Oh, now now we're starting to see a bit of a difference. Keep those APs and and whatnot in the same level. How are we doing? Oh shit! Right, okay. Uh, right, no. I haven't got the energy to be boosting around, so... Uh, shit. This could have messed it up. Periapsis, I want you... You have to be, go below 70 at least. Yes, effective, effective. 16,000 meters. We're not going to be going off far off the coast there, I don't think, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Oh well, so that's, it's, it's not entire. Alright, there we go. We're out, so. Eject. Yeah, I was hoping we'd kind of land next to the KSC, but that's not happened in this case. Uh, right, I'm going to turn the SAS off, line myself up. Oh god. Line myself up, turn SAS on. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Shit! I've got to engage the parachute early. Damn it, I hope that doesn't rip off. I knew I shouldn't have pressed that button then. Oh well, no matter. Let's see, the G's are currently at zero, so let's see if we can effectively get home. Alright, 70 so down to one time speed. This is it, boys. Girls. Anyone who's watching out there? Uh, right, okay, so... Wicked. This is the only thing I miss about two times speed. A descent through the atmosphere now is awfully slow. Uh, Desass for me and follow through to whichever direction you fucking please. Ah, oh, so I hope this is sort of it. Oh, oh, I can't believe I used my parachute. What idiot, Plaborian! God damn it! So looks like we're coming into the final stages of this mission. With the end of this, this marks the full training for 0 0.16 0 0.16 complete, which means we're going back to very technical missions after this episode, I think. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the specifics of what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep you guessing, because I do like to have things as a bit of a surprise for you guys. But I'm going to give you a bit of a sneaky, sneaky peek after this mission is over, at the kind of things I'm going to be using. I think you'll enjoy it. I mean, I hope so. You guys love the KSP and what I've got lined up for you. If you like the legacy quests, then you're going, then you are going to like my next mission. I mean, I've not really thought about what I want to do after that, but never mind. I'll work that out as an, as I'm doing the next bunch of missions, because chances are I'll probably get the idea from it as I'm doing my next missions. Or maybe one of you guys in the comment section will give me a decent idea. I mean, I know a lot of you want to see me build a space station, but until docking's fully implemented in the game, that is something I'm going to be giving a miss, I think. So, sorry about that, people who wanted to see that, but I'm just as gutted as you are. I, I mean, I, I was hoping docking would have been this patch, but instead we got EVAs. I mean, it's a fair trade-off. It's more than a fair trade-off, in all fairness, considering, like, the EVA models we get, and, on oh all those goodies that squad have left us but docking is the thing I am looking forward to and until that comes along 
KSP videos are going to be few and far between. Because there is only so much you can do with one planet and two planetoids. Uh, I mean, at one point I'm going to be doing moon and left research and whatnot. That's something I wanted to do in the last bunch of videos. But with the inclusion of EVAs, it's now going to be a little bit easier. There are, f there are a few niggles and whatnot that I'm trying to sort out with mods. Obviously, a bunch need to be updated in regards to... Um, 0.16 come out. Well, saying that, a lot have already been updated. Like the big players in the KSP modern community. I mean, I think MechJeb was updated the day one, uh, the day 0.16 came out. Which, if I'm honest, is fucking fast. I was able to put these cameras on effectively as soon as I got the patch, but I never got a chance to test them out properly. But uh, yeah, this is a fucking slow process, man. Jesus Christ, hurry up! How are the G's? We're starting to build up towards normal G level. I've not seen it go up into the red yet, but I haven't been paying attention. I'll probably review that in the video, as I'm editing the video afterwards. But I'll show you what I mean when the parachute deploys. I mean, it'll kind of build up towards where the red is, but I don't think it'll effectively go in. But when we start going towards the floor, we're going to be going at about 100 meters per second, and it's just going to stop down to seven and that's the g that would effectively kill us if such things made a difference to us but as it turns out it doesn't where are we so at least we're going for a continental landing i was hoping for a la uh, just off a coast kind of landing back there but sadly i kind of blitzed my engines so although it wasn't exact an exact of a landing spot, I mean, I think I got it a lot more precise than what I did with the last mission with Jeb's landing. Jeb's landing was was lucky. I can't believe how lucky that was, but at least it showed me that if something like that sort of were to happen again, that I could get home. We now know for future reference. I was saying that though, that only is effective when the lower periapsis of Ker uh, around Kerbin is, t I think it was, what was it, was it 200,000 meters above the surface? That the thrusters ran out and I have had to do a full orbit before I then went on a collision course. But, never mind, it works. It's a good little tip, I hope you guys take that away and use it because who knows when you're next going to get stuck out in space. It could be something that saves your life. But look at this now with 5,000 meters from the floor. I've still not seen this go like right up. But again, I've not been paying attention. I've just been chatting away while I've been making myself a cigarette. Uh, yeah, 170 meters. I mean, when we hit 500, it's just going to go to a whole stop. And that, that parachute like that doesn't do anything. If anything, it needs a drogue and another chute underneath it. See, watch this now. Keep an eye, keep an eye on the G's. Boom. All right, that's not as high as what it was last time around. So I am getting better at that. It didn't go right up to the top. So I don't know whether that would have killed us. It might have give one of our guy. Well, saying that, looking at Kerbals, they do look slightly dazed. I mean, even Jebediah is quite dazed. He's not smiling away like he normally. So it could have like concussed them a little bit, but. Never mind, never mind. Jebediah! No, what are you doing? You silly fiend, what are you doing? <laughs> Crazy wide knuckle bastard, you're gonna ride it down, are you? Hell, I ain't gonna argue, I ain't gonna stop you. Yeah, you made it, 300 meters. I wonder how bad of a collision this is gonna be with the floor. Is it gonna shake Jebediah off or are we gonna still be attached to it? I wouldn't like to be grabbed on when this thing is going to hit the floor. That looks like it's coming at quite a distance. Badonk donk <laughs> Wicked getting. So yeah, Bill, Bob, and Jeff, congratulations! First free, uh, first free manned mission to Mimbus. Effectively, the craft should make it to the moon as well. I mean, I don't know how well it get back because of the moon's increased g forces, but. It should work. If if you if your craft can get to Minmus, it can get to the moon. By rule of thumb. But with that, we can now end this mission. End flight. End flight. Vehicle assembly building. Now for time for the sneaky peek. As you can see, hope one. Success. But next time, I'm going to be taking a bit of a... What's it called? A bit of a 
Oh, oh, I want to show this off first before I show off the other one. Now, for those of you who keep in touch with Kerbal News, you may have seen a video from one of the developers, Cloud7. He made like this little contraption for Kerbals to get out on it and into there. If you guys want to see me test this out, I might make a little one, two minute video just to show it off. But that's not going to be the main mission. The main mission head is this. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the shuttle despair. Now, this is made with, are you ready for this? Pay attention. The Tiberdine Shuttle Booster System. Now, I'm going to say that again. Tiberdine Shuttle Booster System. A link to the mod will be given in the description of the next section of videos where I use these. Um, this is just a pre-built to give you a bit of an idea of what I'm going to be using. In the next one, I'm not going to be using this. This is in the American Space Shuttle configuration. I'm going to be using the Russian configuration. The uh, Buran Shuttle, I think it's called, in a Buran configuration. Uh, also, one thing I've got is I've also got... Uh, where are you? At some point, that top tank will be replaced with this. Now... Don't worry, I'll build, I'll, I'll build this all in front of you. No speed up because YouTube doesn't like me having music on my videos. But I will show this off and get ready for a mission and a half. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So until next time, YouTube, I hope that's enough to keep you advertised. Uh, not advertised. I hope that's enough to keep you entertained. I'm going to mention this again. Minecraft is still coming. Tough shit whether you don't like it. But Kerbal will not be stopping. Kerbal will be coming on. As much as I can, Kerbal will be the first choice for my videos. If the Major comes on and we decide to do some multiplayer videos, you don't have to watch him. The, 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 the Minecraft will be for bringing in a new type of crowd, I suppose. Because obviously I want the channel to get more popular. I need to branch out to more wide, uh, a, a wider... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? A wide array of people, I think is what the technical term. And a, a wider audience because the, the, those subscriber numbers are important but not important enough for me to be pigeonholed into one game if you guys threaten to uh, unsubscribe I'm not fussed, do it, I'll get subs subscribers from elsewhere but don't worry, the one thing I want to do is reassure you Kerbal Space Program will never stop there will, in, in months to come there will eventually be like a hundred videos of Kerbal Space Co Program, I'm only up to before I did this, started doing this recording sesh it was, uh, I think it was 11. So don't worry, there'll be more of that to come. So be supportive. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all the very best and peace out.